right, guys, I'm going to tape this for the very first time and look at 4444 four, 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 and let's hope that there's some truth in this. This is, um, oh yeah, cri Criminal Gossiper is great. You should definitely like and like and subscribe and uh, support this channel. It's really, she does a very good job. Okay, let's listen to this because this is the first time for me too. Candace Grandmandis and her confidant, her, his confidant friend, Tells what happened on the 15th. Let's see what, what, what this person says. Because we were listening to some of this on Dolly Vision last night. But I didn't catch it because I was so absorbed into, into the chat. Like, I, I have to. What is. Yeah, this was the one last night. What is. What all is Candace Blah lying about? Yeah. What is she lying about? Some Then there's Summer Wells. Which story is the truth? Candace Terror one day ago. Christy, crime mystery monsters. Yeah, they're good too. All these people are so good. Um, and there's Frankie. Look. Um, rock this girl. That's Frankie's just tarot. It is all backfired. Yes, good. Good, good. Good, good. I'm glad. Thank you. Backfire. Yes, please do. Go ahead. Let's see. You know, I'm obsessed with tarot. All right. Well, anyway, let's get on with this because this is what we got to hear about the truth. And let us hope it is the truth. All right. Let's find the truth in this. Okay, guys. See, she, she lied right there. Oh, my God. She didn't go to a swimming hole. She didn't go. She stayed at the hospital. The H and Summer and Candace went there. She was still at the hospital. See, she lied right there. She loved to be outside all the time that's that was her unfortunately her you know her downfall that was her downfall be being a healthy outdoor girl in a place where when the when the grass is green that's her downfall or she'd rather hang around in that dungeon you called a home i don't think so don you know my biggest fear is you know, or being tormented or locked in a, a dungeon or basement. Or... Kind of like the way you had her? Because what I saw was kind of like a dark basement. Looked like a dungeon. That's why I called it a dungeon. Because that's what it looked like. You know? Poor little kid. She was a happy little spark of light. She probably drove them crazy. He said, because you got to be, you got to have a lot of patience, okay? And if you're, if you're always high on, on something that's a little too strong, like more than pot, if you're high on something more than pot all the time, like pot's one thing, if that's all you do. But if you're adding booze or I don't know what's in vapes, because I don't vape. I do one thing and one thing only. And that's my own homegrown herbs that I grew myself from my very own hands. You know, that's different in my opinion, my homegrown that I grew, that I know what's in it, that I know if there's any chemicals in it or not. And there never is because I don't put stuff. I just put, I just basically put my water and my own saliva. <laughs> um, they grew great. And um, that's different. Okay. So meth brain, which Candace does have, she got hooked on meth as a kid. And she gave up her firstborn, very cute, very pretty daughter, very pretty. Um, her name is Candace. They name each other, all they do is name each other Candace. Thank God, Summer's name is Summer. Um, all right, let's see what else. So if she doesn't mind, I'm using this. I think you should promote. This is a great channel. Build the channel, build each other's channels, add each other. I, I sub to everyone. I just like to be friendly and I like to be supportive because then I feel like it comes back, you know, and goes big, big love, love bomb circle. Something because she loves, she loved to be outside right. all the time. Like That's, that was her, mm -hmm. unfortunately, her, you know, her downfall. Because a lot of times we'd be, the boys would be inside and we'd be like, we're summer. Why'd Why you would anybody ever be inside that house if they could? Why did you build that? Um side why did you build that extension and not give it a door i mean it's sort of weird i guess you want to keep the kids inside there's something weird about you the house itself you have all this land it's a nice actually a nice big p 
piece of property. You know, it's a beautiful piece of property. You got a big circle driveway. You got that whole big circle in the middle, free and clear. You could have had a garden in there. You could have had a cute little chicken coop or something. I don't know what you're allowed to have. And see, they when they take away your ability to have your own farm, they take away your ability to be independent, a.k.a. communism, a.k.a. P CCP takeover not happening. We object to the CCP takeover. Just by the way, just by the way, we object. They're alone. You know, go get summer now. You know, and that's how. Why don't you go get summer now? Why are you asking your boys to do everything? Yes, they should pitch in. Yes, they should be good brothers. Why are you? Why are you annoyed with your children? By the way, the oldest one was eleven when summer went missing. Okay, and I have a lot to say about that. Jo that that little boy was about to turn the same age at this gen. This man here this gentleman here should i call him a gentleman was when he started abusing his younger sister at age five which he admitted and to which he apologized for sleeping with his five-year-old sister she was five that's the age that's all the rage they're asking me someone was asking me how what's the too old who cares who cares too young is what matters when you're too old, you can't be trafficked because you're choosing it at that point, guys. This is a little child. You don't think they're after babies and children? Come on. You're just being argumentative. Over and over again. Did you over and over again? Why don't you do something over and over again? Hey, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. So All right. To this is... Ah, oh, shoot. Oh, is... I, can't... I can't wait us through this whole thing. Um, it was queued up yesterday. I'll queue it up later. But you know what I'm going to do is I want to finish this part that uh, I was at this guy. And then, of course, Shay's in here as well. Thank you guys for being here. I was, gonna uh, watch I was just going to ask you to play PUBG. Juice, uh, after this stream, I'll be down to play some PUBG. I'm going to do a quick stream to go. <sighs> okay, sorry, guys. I don't know. I may be wrong. Was he at work that day? Oh. Insomnia is a serious condition. Sorry, guys. I Hold on. No one knows if he was at work. Okay. Does anybody know for sure? No. Nope. Who would nope. I talk to that would know that? Probably the TBI. Yeah, they don't know. I, I don't want to go to TBI right now. They're doing their Look, own. Not if they're in on it. Now, TBI, is it possible that some of the traffickers work within the TBI? Uh, duh. If you think that the TBI is any less capable of being infiltrated like the whole friggin' country was infiltrated by the NAZIs, okay, invited in by American presidents and whomever, the German Nazi scientists, the German Nazi uh, top-of-the-line geniuses m infiltrated this country, and truly won World War II secretly. Because it's all about secret clubs. Nothing turns a man on more than a secret club. I'll tell you that. Secret club, they're in. Right, guys? You gotta, you gotta admit, there's something sexy about a secret club, right? So back to the Wells family drama. Was it a murder? Was it neglect? Was it a murder due to neg neglect? Was it second degree murder? What is second degree murder? What is, oh, and by the way, in this interview with Hunter, he says that the grandmother, grandis, grandmandis, grandis, first thing out of his mouth was grandis was acting all crazy and we're gonna get to that. Thing and I don't wanna get involved in that. That's because you know there's you a know bunch of I mean? fucking liars. Um, my friend. Obviously, Sorry. I don't want to jeopardize any type of information they may have or bullshit any, you know, that kind of stuff. That they're pulling and twisting and lying about. When she would have summer, even here, and if I was here, I would keep my distance. Because I didn't like the way she done her kids. Mm -hmm. Okay, look, everybody's like... This is a testimony to Candace's character as a mother from her friends who hung out with her. Okay, these this, this one hung out with her the most. 
And she said she kept her distance because she couldn't stand the way Candace treated her kids. This is information. Is this called evidence? Is this circumstantial evidence? Candace was thought of as a bad mother by her friends. We could be hearing just as easily that these people who knew her thought she was a great mother and just as easily as they are saying what they feel about her as a mother, they could be saying, we, th we, we feel she was a wonderful mother. She would never have harmed her child. She was definitely on ball, on the ball. She wasn't, you know, she would, now these, Candace, Bly, Wells, and Hunter admitted they basically did a drug run with a little bit of neglectful swimming where some are almost drowned thrown in. That's basically the story. They went on a big drug run to all these places that Hunter probably couldn't get to because he's only 15 and he can't drive yet. Here was his chance to get in a car with someone and drive around to all these fun new places he heard about that he couldn't go into, or maybe he did. I don't know, but you know what I mean. Here's a friend who's an adult, a woman who likes him, who he likes. They have their secret little flirty love affair thing. He's a, he's a young guy looking for somebody to have a crush on. Who's around? You know, he's got he's got his mom and his great grandmother. He's not going to crush on her. Who's around? So he's got some. He's got a little five year old. He's got Candace. Who's he going to crush on? He's got a girlfriend. I heard so that's good. You know, but you know, you know, people are grow, get crushes on each other, and they start as little kids. You know, we fall in love with each other, so to speak. Okay, brother and sister can fall in love with each other. It's, it happens all the freaking time. The Anunnaki, who apparently run the world, who are in the Black Mirror Matrix of Hell version of life, are a sex and death cult. Okay, a sex and death cult. Bones, bones, bones. People who love bones, they kind of lean in that direction, right? I tend to like people with the flesh on. You know what I'm saying? Let's carry on with this. This is, why does it matter? They're talking about Candace as a mother. They could just as easily say, Candace was a great mother. Do they matter? Do these women count? You don't think so? I think they count. I think they count. They, they know her, okay? Who counts more? Candace isn't gonna tell us the truth. Who are we gonna count on? You really think Candace is gonna tell the truth? She's solid as a fucking rock. Candace will never break, never. She's made of lies. She's made of meth, meth amphetamine. She's made of alcohol. She's made of whatever the fuck is in the vapes, duh. She's in the, she's, she's made of cigarettes and 500 plus chemicals in cigarettes, okay? You are what you eat. You are what you put in your body. Some people have entity attachments, you know? And they have to house the entity attachments. Yes, called DCS. DCS has been called so many times on this woman, it's not even funny. DCS has been called so many times on this woman, it's not even funny. So when these people say, huh, they don't have a record, what come fucking on? If DCS was really concerned, they would have gone over there by now. I hate that argument. I despise that argument. Forgive me for offending anyone. It is not my intention to offend anyone, but I'm offended by the argument that DCS would have gotten them by now if there was a real problem. Give me a fucking break. See, I'm so angry that this has gone on I am in control of my emotions. Oh, yes, I am. So what the Facebook people don't realize, there has been people try to step in. No. She avoids them. Now, some people, she avoids them. See, she's an expert at avoiding the DHS, CPS. She's been avoiding them. This, I believe, is a fact. If you want to ignore what this woman says, that's up to you. Why would she lie? Actually, it is a fact. We don't have a list of the calls. They are looking for any excuse they can find to get these people off. I have never seen anything like it. 
Blood Money Benny Keys spends all day defending these people and looking for a way to make them look innocent of losing their own child on their watch. And he does a really good fucking job. In fact, he's got people convinced that it is not their fault that they lost their own child and that no one knows where she is and that they look guilty as hell and that they're walking away. He's amazing. He's a magician. Oh, yeah. Doc. Doc magician. What a magician. Mm -hmm. Do you have magic powers too? What kind of magic powers do you have? Are they as good as Benny's? Who else is spinning? Oh, and then the cutie pie, Cam. And his cutie pie wife. He's got his arguments. For what? What are you arguing? Because he's a sweet guy. That's my argument. What's your, your argument for what? That they're, that, they're, that they're innocent of losing their own child? Okay. That's what you need to defend. Because you understand. Because you mentioned that the whole damn area was the same. They can't accuse one without accusing everyone. He said it. He really did. He said it. He's like, it's the culture. It's where we're from. It's what we do. It's where we're at. How do you stop it? How do you take a kid from an abused family, abusive family, and move it to another family that's just as friggin' abusive, abusive who could even care less? I mean, this is a fucking problem in our country and in our world. And this is America's version of treating each other like shit and letting everybody get away with it. Now, in that call, in the show last night, it came up about Tennessee being known for kids being a little cheaper than other places. You're going to pay more for a, per, a kid, a baby, a five-year-old, a 14-year-old, a 21-year-old, whatever, 19. You're going to pay more for a high-end chick, a high-end kid in California, yay, AI, Kali, Kali, okay, the goddess Kali who destroys everything. Not a good one especially in the Black Mirror Matrix of Hell, right? Now, who makes more money, guys? The people defending the wells and coming up with arguments that make it not their fault for losing their own child? Hmm? She, 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 she could have dry drowned because they were making TikTok videos. What a good mom, making TikTok video so busy making tiktok addictive tiktok videos designed by the ccp which is a huge trafficking ring we already saw your little video with the red barrel that said for sale with your little adorable little daughter dancing around in front of it showing what a great little spinner she is showing what a potential she had to be a beautiful little dancer kid could knock your socks off with her dance moves she could spin and then dawn says Oh, yeah, she wanted to spin all the time. And she was like, Daddy, I want to spin. And he was like, oh, you know, like, oh, come on, I get out, get my beer. He, he did not. These parents could not be bothered because they were too busy. They were, they were addicted. Oh, look, addict, addicts suffer. I get it. I actually feel sorry for people who are addicts because I know how I, I, the worst thing I was addicted to was cigarettes. Thank God that was the worst thing. It could have been worse. It could have been worse. I easily, if I could have afforded it, I would have been addicted to cocaine. Thank God I didn't, I couldn't afford it. <laughs> Otherwise I would have been destroyed by that drug, but I couldn't afford it. I could only afford pot. Pot has always been somehow magically showing up in my world to calm me down and soothe me and help me, help me adjust, whatever. You know, I didn't always smoke pot, but that's always been my drug. I, I couldn't become an alcoholic for some reason. My body just can't do it. You know, and if you never drink again, you win. By the way, take that one to the bank. Sure. Okay. Okay. She would see him pull in her driveway. She would lock the door and not let him in. She would see them pull in her driveway. She would lock the door and not let him in. Okay, that's how Candace avoided CPS. It doesn't mean they didn't come and call. She just knew how to get out of it. 
So please don't use this argument. Well, CPS would have had a record. would have been arrested by now. No, no. She's walking. Look at her. With her YouTube channel and her money and her request for now she wants a bed. Now she wants bedding. Now she wants clean towels. I bet that kid never saw a bath that wasn't outside a dirty pond. I mean, the water then they would make appointments with yeah, them. Right, I get it. To come back and do the house check and, you know, the pee test and... House check and pee test. This is the first time I've heard that and I've listened to this thing a million times. So when the CPS comes over, they got to do the house check and the pee test. She doesn't want that because she's been vaping, smoking, doping, drugging, boozing and everything she can get her hands on. You know, that's what addicts do. She's not doing meth. At least she's not doing meth, right? You know, she got off of meth. She's going to do everything else she can do because that's how she was raised. I mean, so I have a question for you that day. Walk me through what you remember. I remember sh her showing up that morning. Morning. And what time was that? About 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, All right. She asked if Hunter could go fishing. Fishing. With her in summer because her mother was in the emergency room because of her knee. Okay. Because I guess... Okay, they always use the emergency room and the old granny and the old lady and the prescriptions. They drop that in every time to, to disalarm people. No, oh, you, oh, sorry, you know, you can't mess with the old people. They might die. Everybody got to step back. Always, always bringing in the old people. That old grandis could probably walk perfectly. This is all a bunch of bullshit. This is, a, this is how they elicit sympathy. Oh, the hospital. Oh, the grandma dying. Ooh, it's prescriptions. Knee. I'm not saying she doesn't have a knee a problem. But if she really had a knee problem, why? Come on. Something. Yeah, the boys kicked her in the knee. The three boys allegedly kicked the granny in the knee. You think she wants to hang around those boys, limping around with those boys, acting crazy, absolutely out of control? Jesus. It's back, and I took her a trip to Gatlinburg, and the boys were kicking the grandmother in the knee. Oh, my. The boys were kicking the grandmother in the knee. Oh, my. No. And the boys with them that day. She didn't have any of the boys. So it was just some. She didn't have any of the boys with her with her that day. They were at home, alone, or with who? Were they alone? Dawn was allegedly at work. And by the way, when they bought that Subaru, look how dirty my screen is. Sorry. When they bought that Subaru to cover his tracks that day. This is why I think it was planned. They they bought the Subaru trying to hide his involvement. But it is the Subaru that makes him look guilty. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, I'll be back. Or should I stay with this? What should I do? I don't know. Let's do a little more. Let's do a little more. And Candace. And, then Candace. and Grandma. Yep. Was Grandma in the truck as well? Or in the vehicle? Not when they first picked Hunter up, no. Okay. okay. So she comes so over. So first... First, Candace swings up to her house, picks up her 15-year-old son. Did they say hi? Did they interact? They're fighting. Picks up her 15-year-old tall, well-developed son. You know, so practically a man. A few months, he's going to be able to drive and get a license and be all big boy driving He's almost old enough to drive a car and go to the vape shop on his own without Candace, Auntie Candace, right? So she comes over, what, what vehicle is she driving? She's driving her mom's silver out. Okay, that's what I remember you saying. That's why I said truck. Okay, so she pulls up and does she stop where? Right about, Here. right out front. Between the pole and my mailbox. Okay. To pick Hunter up. All right. She came in, she goes, did she get out? Can Hunter go get fishing with me for a little while? I said, sure. Did she text you before? No, she just She just up. showed up? Yep. How did that strike you? She was always trying to show up and talk to me. She'd always, she was the first. She, she'd come unannounced all the time? Because they were really close or what? When me and her stopped talking, she was stopping by my mom's. So she's still friends with the mother, her mother, Hunter's grandmother. They're still friends, even though th these two had a fight about Jose, 
who allegedly is Hunter's dad. This is so freaking confusing. I swear to God, I'm still confused about who the players are. Talking to the kids, talking to my mom, unexpectedly, you know. And, um, you know, I didn't think anything of it at that time. I'm like, okay. I didn't think anything of it. You didn't? You didn't think anything of it? Just as long as he brought home a couple vapes. Here, take that $10 bill out of my pocket before you go. Or grab that 20, get me three. Yeah, I'll take you go fishing. He loves summer. Go fishing? Did anybody bring any fishing poles? What is this fishing bullshit? Where were the fishing rods? Fishing poles and the and the bait. Where did where where do you go fishing? Come on. What is this fishing bullshit? That's like his little sister. They're buds. Because they were very close and finally Shit, sorry about the shaking. I can't stop shaking this Finally, a cute little hunter who hadn't seen her big friend in a long time, she finally sees him. They're all excited because the kids didn't want to be separated. You know, the mothers were fighting, but that doesn't mean that the kids were happy about it. The kids probably wanted to see each other and missed each other a lot. So it was a big happy moment for Hunter to see Summer that day. It had been months. It must have broken Hunter's heart to have that little girl disappear or die on that day. I mean, to me, Hunter must be traumatized because he was there, you know? Oh. She's with a daughter to me. And, uh, I didn't hear from him for a while. She dropped Hunter off between 2 and 2.30. Right where your truck is. Two and two thirty. But her front end was facing the telephone pole. So she's going this direction. Yes. Okay. When she dropped Hunter off, it was her, her mom, Hunter, and Summer. And Summer was leaning against two gallons of milk. Okay. So oh, look at her. I think that's bullshit. You know, I asked her how Summer was, and she was sleeping. What side sleeping? of the? Sleeping of the back seat was she at do you remember hunter was on the driver's side and summer was right there next right if, there. A, if a kid like summer didn't wake up there was something seriously wrong because she would have been leaning against her homie hunter and if he moved she would have woken up and if she didn't wake up something was seriously wrong very wrong okay so it makes at sense. that point you know what i'm saying She's pulling this way that Hunter's going to get out yes. on this side. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. And so she's on the other side or in the middle? She's in the middle. Okay. Like against the milk. Gallons of milk. Okay. How do you know? Milk. How do you know? Did you walk out there, great-grandma? How do you know? Why are you suddenly adding that she was up against the milk? Like... Did you walk over there? Because no one mentions that you walked over there and looked. So how do you know? So this is what I think is fishy. Doesn't mean it's all untrue, but it's fishy. The whole friggin' thing. You know what I mean? Okay. How do you know? I said, is she hot? Like, so I wish I could wake her up and, you know, give her a hug. No, you can't. And the windows were up. What How do you know, say? old lady? Because he was sitting next to her. How do you know the windows were up? Did you walk over there? See, this is what we're missing here. What are the logistics, you know? Okay. But they were watching TikTok videos. Oh, interesting. Wait, when they went into the store. Yep, were... because... See Hunter... how they've gone over this? Great grandma says, yeah, when they went into the store getting the script right. Oh, it was when they went into the store they were they were watching TikTok videos, not when they pulled in. No. So that's different, right? Make sure she make sure they know old ladies, wicked witches. Are you guys secretly Satanists or part of some secret weirdo cult or not? So not everybody is, but you know, you never know. I'm lining up where they went. And what they did. And, uh... They, they told them where they went and what they did? Oh, sure. I thought they went fishing. Wait, was he trying to cover up the big vape hunt with the fishing story? Or was they going to go fishing and then Candace was like, no, let's go get vapes. And he's like, dude, yeah. I mean, you know what I mean? It could have been anything. 
The store before they dropped Hunter off. That's where the two gallons of milk came from. Okay. And the groceries. Okay. And the groceries. What freaking groceries? What what groceries? Cheese? Kellogg's? Corn flakes? I mean, what are the groceries? What are these alleged groceries? Eggs? They would have been rotten. Well, she didn't cook. Oh, you mean like the bag of Skittles or like what do you what are the groceries? Two things of milk. It's the only food as far as I can make out they ate, except for maybe some pizzas. I'm not trying to interrupt your timeline that day, but I want to suggest they need to go to the Walmart on Fort Henry. Okay. And have them look back at the cameras because Oh, what's going to drive she can't hold for them. What? Because she got escorted out for the way she was yelling at those kids. Don't you remember? <laughs> that day? No. Prior to that. All right, okay. she got she escorted out. Uh, arrested. Well, cited. Um, cited. She was cited at Walmart. For what? Oh, shit. Oh, buffering. All right. I'm going to make another one. But you should check this out, obviously. I'm going to go clean my screen because it's filthy. But you should definitely watch, uh, you should definitely sub to this guy, interview room, Chris McDonough. You know, he's amazing. Um, you know, he's always, I don't have to do, I'm just whatever. Give, I'm already, I'm already, I actually pay the guy $1.99 a month. All right, love ya.